Howdy all, this is Texas Gaming Industries here, and welcome to episode 21, part 6 of my Let's Play of Transport Fever 2. In the previous episode, we basically delivered the food to Sao Paulo, and now we're finally going to get started on transporting needed materials for the industries around here. And, well, basically, I was about to say in this episode, we're just going to basically do what I said previously. Our train is busy being filled up with machinery bound for Santos, but in Brazil, however, we need to get started on the producing clothes. This textile factory needs cotton in order to produce clothing. Fortunately, near the small little town of South Roque, there's a couple of cotton plantations up and running. All we just need to do is just get the cotton from there to there. But we also need to deliver clothing to here, a Judandi, which is located on the far end of the map. Which is perfect because I need to basically have a small pa Well, I need a nice terminal station at the other end of my line. Alright. Alright, now with the cargo and passenger station built, all we just need to do is just connect it to the main line. I'll leave the other station platforms for the other passenger trains to go in and out. Because... Oh, wait. That's not what I wanted. I wanted the normal vanilla track for this. curve here and just reconnect the main line from that angle. Let me see. It's going into town, so this is gonna be crossing type number two. Now with that done, we can basically continue with the rest of this project. Let's see. Alright, so some of these other platforms will be used for the local trains, though platforms 1 and 2 will be used for the express and from the commuter train running from Franco. Right. Gonna add a tunnel. And now what all we just need to do is just reconnect connect that section of track to the main line. Curve to the left and build over this river. And as for the bridge, we'll basically use this steel girder bridge. Put it down, or we could just simply do this. 
will require a bridge, though. I'm just going to make it flat terrain. And that is the main line fully complete. All you just need to do now is just smooth the terrain a little bit to make sure the track looks nice. And now to connect the street station to the main line. We'll leave it at 40 on this curve. Then connect here. Shame, really, that this city does not need food, because that would have been a very good destination to drop it off to. With that done, we can now add the signals. Oh, I forgot to basically add the passing signing. What? Not passing signings, the bay platforms to the main line. This way, do it that way, and then there we go. Now we can get started. Signal on that track. And of course, I gotta get this these passing tracks finished. Once that is done, we can then start operating an express service on this line. done, we can basically start operating freight trains again. Though I do want to connect the town of San Ro to the main line. Hmm. Let's basically put it at 160 meters. Build a two-track platform in case if anybody wants to travel to Franco, which is basically where their food will be coming from. And just one platform for the freight train. As for the platform at the station at San Roque, gonna get rid of these stone platforms and replace it with a wooden one. Manhattan platforms, wooden passenger. Then add these station roofs. And the same for the sun rope exchange platform. Wooden cargo platform. Oh! We now have two new engines the Jupiter and Leviathan 440s. Granted, those 440s could be useful on some of my new passenger trains. Uh, darn auto saves. Right, so we'll reconnect with the main line at this point right here. For those traveling into San Paulo. But I gotta figure out where the, the train's heading for 
Franco de Rocha will go. Activate the double slip switch. We'll add some platforms here. Construction not possible. Great. There we go. Do it like that. And then we'll have a simple straight piece of track. Right. The switch to the main line is finished. This is going to be very, very difficult to pull off. As since it's touching the water, I'll need to. I'll have to get rid of that. Pink tools. Condition of multiple vehicles is poor. Oh dear. Some of my vehicles they started operating in Europe are starting to basically show their age. Might as well basically put them in all good condition so they'll be back to what they used to be when I first acquired them. And as for my loans, I think I should start paying back some of the money I have earned from my property. My railroad basically has made over 21 million back in 1867. All right, that should do for now. Just make it a stone bridge there. This and then reconnect both ends with, a, with this. And then do that. I'll need to find a spot for a passing track. And I'll need a Freight platform to carry out the cotton from the surrounding plantation to the main line. This terrain is so haphazardly uneven. Can't basically place down a good section of track without wasting a lot of money on building a tunnel. Place down a signal there. So I'm gonna place a couple of one-way signals here. And one way signal. Right. Hmm. Maybe I might be able to reconnect to the main line, to the 
not the main line, the freight line, I just basically curve a little bit off to the left and basically go underneath the main line bridge here. That'll work pretty well. But then I'll have to deal about this, for this road. Just do that, delete this road, and then just build a bridge on top of it. There we go. And just simply reconnect both ends of the road, and then that should basically do it. Alright, now the main line is, now this branch is fully connected to the main line, but however, I need to figure out another way to get this main line connected to Franco de Rocha. Hmm. Well, there's plenty of ample building room here. 35 miles an hour. That seems very much fair for a bridge, for a curve. We'll build a wooden trestle bridge to save money. Alright, our machines have been delivered to Santos. Let's see. We'll do it like that. Build a switch here. And to make sure the multiple trains can still use this track, we'll build a double section of track here. Now that my new trains have basically arrived, hmm. well, now that the vehicles are back to normal levels, I think I should basically now start focusing on the new services. For one, there will be a new express service from Santos to the other end of the line. This will depart on Platform 1, pass through Santo Quirre de Sul, Sao Paulo, Franco de Rocha, and Judai, and then travel back through the same stations again on the return trip. Which the Let's see. Platform three and platform four. Speaking of which, is one of my local trains actually using the station platform? Oh, no wonder. Well, once that train departs again, I'll reassign it to another platform. But this will be known as Express Train. Of course, I gotta basically put in the B as space, the showcases of the Brazilian service, and put it in dark red. which this local train needs to be on another platform. We'll put it on platform two. And let's have a look at the different vehicles that we have available. Well, we have the new 440, so let's put that one to work and use a couple of these Civil War era passenger cars for the service. So it'll only go 37 miles an hour, but at least, however, it will be quite a different experience to compare to the local trains. Let me see. Hmm. This, this textile factory is very close to this area. Maybe I might be able to get it by destroying a couple of these blocks. It won't be cheap, and it won't be easy, but I'm willing to give that a try. Let's see. All 
right. Hmm. Will it actually connect? Yes, but on a very steep grade. Doesn't look clean, but it'll work either way. Right. Now I just need to set up another freight train. Parentheses B. Freight train C. Then connect to here. Or B. Freight train D. Put this in dark blue. Have a full load of ten minutes pick up food put this on platform three hmm oh uh, yes I forgot to add the slip switch this will be B freight train E load to any 10 minutes and now I've got to set up a new local passenger service which by the way local train B will not be stopping on platform 3 actually it will stay on platform 3 I just got to get freight train local train C on platform 4 and, and the express train on tracks 1 and track 2. Let's do that. Let's see. Brazil. Local train. This is going to be on platform three. And as for those branch line trains, I'm going to use the small early American 440 and a couple of these stock passenger cars. Also gotta get started on transporting supplies and passengers down to Mogi de Cruz. This will be B again. Local passenger train. Wait, local passenger? Oh, it's local train. Jeez, I'm getting so scatterbrain right now. Train E. Dark gray as usual. This is going to be on platform one. I'm going to get another look. I'm going to get another early 440. Several of these coaches. Order to work on that service. Speaking of which, what is line one? Was that a line that I did not work on? Yeah. And now I gotta get a couple of full four O's to service the local town. To service the cotton plantations. Now, cotton basically needs to be transported in these gondola cars. So let's add a couple of these into the train. Into the mix. 280 units seems logical. Unable to find path to stop. Oh, right. It's because it's not connected to the branch. 
looks like I'll have to build another tr spur track or another way to connect it to the main one. Yes, I'll have to do it like that. Alright. Freight train E, I have a C. And as for the other freight trains, I'm gonna get another set of boxcars. Actually, yeah. Just get one set of freight cars to carry the food. I need some more money again. Right on freight train D. And then I'm gonna try something a little bit different. I'm gonna get the same American 440, but making it a mixed freight car set with a couple of these vanilla box cars and a couple of these mod flat cars from the early American freight car pack. Train E. Perfect. Speaking of which, let's see, where is my express train? Ah, there it is. It's just making its first run into Judani to pick up its first load of passengers. Soon enough, there will be passengers wanting to ride the express train here at Franco. And then, hopefully, down towards Sao Paulo. No, not Sao Paulo, Santos. As there's already one person waiting for a train at Santos Central Station, I just gotta figure out a way to get more people from Santos to the station without traveling so far. But I believe this will be a very good stopping point for us in this episode. So, if you enjoyed this episode of my Let's Play Transport Fever 2, please be sure to leave a like. Comment and subscribe to Texas Gaming Industries for new video uploads every Friday or Saturday, depending on my outside schedule. And as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!